Just a quick warning at the start of this video that we're going to be covering the TikTok plastic surgery things that you may have seen and they look kind of creepy. Just a little warning because uh, it's a little more than what we usually have in our video. So enjoy. We've done a lot of videos in the past talking about plastic surgery and the, like the dangers that people get addicted to it and they kind of make the plastic surgery their entire personality. Today's video kind of goes along with that. We are going to be checking out a channel called Tuv. We've got Tuv here, makes morbid documentaries. And we were watching a video that says, I investigated TikTok's scariest surgeon to where if you saw the thumbnail, then know that it's pretty scary and like, what is this man doing to things? And apparently Tub's going to get to the bottom of it. So check out Tub. And he also, five days ago, I'm just seeing this. The TikTok surgeon situation gets worse. So there's even more information. Oh, wow. We're going to watch the first video. Check out Tub. There's a link in the description and everything. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I'm, I've been kind of, I've seen this pop up on my feed before. And I've been interested in, like, what the heck was going on? Like, you go into the comments, you're like, what? Wow. How? How does this happen? Oh. Like this, Dane. Oh. Oh, uh, I, I thought it was like a filter or something making the eyes all big. But it's like someone's wearing someone. Else. OK, let's just let's just start watching it. If you've been on TikTok or Twitter lately, there's a chance you may have seen some viral facelift surgeries going around. So we got the before here. Oh, man, got, oh, look at this face. It's all kind of. Oh, mm, what? God, this lady here. Oh, wow. It's like uncanny valley stuff, right? Yeah. Uncanny valley. Yeah, it's just, uh. it's creepy to look at. Mm. It's, it's like someone else is wearing somebody else's face. It's like a super facelift. Like the whole face is just stretched. It's, yeah. yeah. It doesn't look real. It doesn't look real at all, like to me, but apparently it is. Hey, we'll, we'll keep on, we'll keep, we'll, 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 Tuv's got us. He's going to deep dive more <laughs> into it. So let's go straight to the source. At Jaizu16 on TikTok, aka Dr. Kim. The page has 93 videos all covering facelift surgeries, usually on older folk. They've been blowing up for obvious reasons because these- Obvious reasons because they're creepy. <laughs> That's not even the same person. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, dude, what is that one? Whoa. It's like they took these people and then put like a doll. A surgeon with a big TikTok account at 8.3 million followers by the name of Dr. Yoon shared his thoughts. So let's get to his thoughts. Plastic surgery coming out of Asia is so extreme that it actually makes me sad. I mean, how does somebody go from this to this? I mean, this is a ton of work that was done. I mean, she's a beautiful woman before and after, but why? And this whole thing is strange because are these truly the hands of a 69 year old woman? And here's another look at them. This is just strange. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's right. weird, man. It's weird. Like, are those her hands? Those are like the youngest hands. Yeah. On an old lady I've ever seen. The, um, the hand, the new hand doesn't almost fit. Like on the one hand. I yeah. Got man. Wow. First of all, no criticism to any of these patients. If they want to undergo a cosmetic procedure and alter their appearance, then that's their business. But every surgeon has to make their decision on what they think is right. And for me, no thank you. I would say that ain't right. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> I mean, are they happy uh -huh. with their results afterwards? They're like, yeah, I look good. Yeah, this is great. This is exactly what I signed up for. Jeez. It's at 70 something years old, the recovery. Oh, right, dude. My sister really changed from 50 years old to a little girl after wow. her facelift. It is also a man's right to love beauty. My 58 year old brother has a very good facelift effect. Those comments, man. All those comments they're leaving. It's like everybody, everybody's down with it. Everyone's like, yeah, they look great. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, it's not. You already couldn't trust makeup. <laughs> now you can't trust their actual face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's just bait to get people to trust them more. The sad reality is some older people comment that they want these surgeries. Ayuda, yo quiero por favor. Which just translates to help, I want this please. Parece oh. que tiene 20 años por Dios. ¿Cuánto cuesta un lift facial y cuello en Korea? Gracias. Follow me. So this one directly <laughs> translates to it looks like she's 20 years old. On God. <laughs> It literally <laughs> means on God. Um, <laughs> There's the face and neck lift in Korea. Thank you. And another comment that just says, yo quiero. <laughs> on oh God. <laughs> yo, oh God. No fact. Printer, man. Yeah, let me get that. Look, if any older people are watching this video, I know I'm only 21, but I promise you, you're beautiful the way you are. You don't need a facelift, especially one by Dr. Kim, to feel <laughs> confident. I was going to say, he's like giving the, the uplifting speech, like, hey, look, you don't need it. Like, <sighs> nobody needs this. Nobody needs anything from Dr. Kim. Holy crap. Wow. Please save yourself. So he's supposed to, throughout this video, he's supposed to like go through more of like who Dr. Kim is, like how much it costs and everything like that. So 
Because I was about to say, like, how, like, how cheap is that? Why are people getting this? It's just like dirt cheap or what? But we should get to that later. Do your research on it. Don't just see a random TikTok and say, this is it. This is going to be my life changing experience that I'll never be able to take back. What are you talking about? People do with tattoos all the time. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> so people have it's different though, Ken. It's different. Nay, maybe. So I was clicking the hashtags on Dr. Kim's posts, and they led to more facelift surgeries, but by different accounts. Dr. Sam and Liang. We'll just call this one Liang. Okay, so there's there's multiple Kims. So it's not just one dude. Okay. Wow. This is a whole a whole thing. <laughs> the first thing I wanted to know was who the hell is Dr. Kim? I tried copy and pasting his name, but that led nowhere. Then I tried reverse image searching his profile picture, but that too led nowhere. Uh -oh. Zero matches. Uh oh, <laughs> he's not real. Uh -oh. oh no. What? Dr. Kim and Liang both have WhatsApp links in their bios, and they both lead to the same account? Jaizu dash GJ. Jaizu. Oh. What? Ooh. The plot thickens, sir. Hmm, yes. Oh what is going on here? It's like a scary movie, dude. <laughs> I know. It's like, it's like, I'm so invested. I don't even know how to feel right now. So I found right. yet another facelift account, but it wasn't your average facelift account. This one had a Facebook link, bingo. And the user was Deng Jaizu, aka Dr. L. And it's Oh, oh, we found him. Is this, is, we got a lead okay. here. Hmm. Dr. L, yes. They're all doctor letters at some point. This is going to get... <laughs> spell something out. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> yeah. And his Facebook cover picture already reveals a new character, Dr. Lee Feng. Huh? And me, which, yeah, seems to match up with Dr. L. And what do their shirts say? If you zoom in, they clearly say Dr. Lee Feng. And where are they located? Well, according to that Facebook profile, Shanghai, China. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right, so they all lead to this. Are they all just the same person working at the same place, different accounts? <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it, you know. I think they don't they have like the I think they call it like influencer farms. Is that in China? To where there's like, like a, a like a warehouse filled with like backdrops and people that are just is that that where that is? Hang on, let me let me see here. Let me look. I've actually never heard of that. It may not it may not even I don't even know if it's real or not, but it was just like ring lights and people filming and I I don't I don't, I don't I'm not going down that rabbit hole right now. But anyway, I'm just kind of wondering if it's kind of the same thing of just multiple people covering the same thing to increase the reach. You right. know. All right, the messages. Hello, can I reach Dr. Kim? Hi, what can I do for you? I'd like more information about the facelifts. Is there a website I can visit? Because gjhose.com does not work. And in case you're wondering where I got gjhose.com, which I know is funny, hose. <laughs> it's actually the website <laughs> this account has hose. on their. WhatsApp account. In order to know you more and make plan for you, please send me your photos. And then they send like a, a diagram of how they want. Oh, me. they got the whole diagram and everything. Like show me what you how we, what we got going on. Right. And that's when I freaked out because my WhatsApp just says my actual name and it has a yeah. <laughs> This is the part where he's like, I didn't think uh. this through. They're going to know that I'm not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> A picture of me. I can't send a picture of me because they're gonna know. So like, my mom, my mom was wanting information. So I made up a lie. Oh, okay. The person that wants this is not me, but rather my wife. We'd like to know the prices. My goal was to get the prices and location and name of the person that does these surgeries. I send a picture. I say, this is her. Sir, I saw the photos you sent and your wife's facial proportions are great. I would suggest to consider a mini facelift. The results of the surgery are expected to last for at least 10 years, which is already insane. You know, like it seemed like they buttered her up at the beginning. Well, she looks great, but she could improve these things. <laughs> the guy, yeah, you know right. what? She looks pretty good, but uh, we can make we can rebuild her. <laughs> we can make her better. Trust. Yeah. Ten year guarantee. Ten year, yeah, ten year guarantee. <laughs> Gonna say manipulation, but if you know you're already an insecure old woman, they might they might just get you. And obviously, there's a lot of TikToks proving that they got a lot of people. I don't know if they're trying to scam. That just seems like kind of your basic, like, That's you go to them for help and they, they're they just telling you what they can do to help. Right, you know? right, right. Like, you look great. They don't, they're not going, well, what if they said, man, God damn, <laughs> God, your wife needs help, bro. Like, <laughs> you came to the right help. place. <laughs> Please. <laughs> they send me image proof, okay? And they think this is good. This is what they sent me. Oh. Oh. Wow. So there's some examples of what. Oh. Like wow. As you can see, her face is strapped on from the back back here. Oh, yes, very good. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, this face on. This <laughs> is the one that really got me. This yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, that yeah. one's like, the other ones are like like little mini faceless. This one's like, 
It's like watching a Mortal Kombat move and they like grab the back of your face and just like stretch it until your head pops off or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, look, if they got so many pictures, I guess that's what people want. If they're sending these pictures is like, this is what you could look like. Then they're like, great. That's what I want. And he's like, say no more. Let me get the crane and let me hook you up and let me pull that face back. You know? uh, yeah. Hook it up to my truck outside and hit the, we will floor it and pull that skin as tight as we can. This is, um, let's just say unpleasant. Gross. So yeah, it, it's just scary that, that this to them is like the, the solution. Of course I had to pretend, wow. How much will this cost us? We are in the United States. It would cost $5,100 in total. I will also arrange airport pickup and accommodation for you. Do you come to China with your wife? All right, let's stop there. So first the pro- yeah, Let's stop there. $5,100, we'll fly you out. Are they, they paying for plane tickets too? Two plane tickets to fly you and your wife out. Accommodations with a not. hotel, right? At least a hotel. Okay, no, 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 okay, no, no, this can't be flights also. It would cost $200, I will arrange airport, I'll arrange pickup and accommodation. So they'll come pick you up from the airport and then put you in a, a hotel or something, or you stay at the hospital, I don't right. know. Uh, right, right, oh, okay, wow, is there five, five, I mean, how much is a facelift? And, I don't know. So Los Angeles, the, the average price range from 8000 to 14000 So man, yeah, you could save some money. Nice. Go to China, okay. man, they, they even get you some, you just gotta get a flight over there. It's all, it's all good. What a deal. $5,100, average facelift here in the US, and actually I looked up Los Angeles around <laughs> 8,000 million. Obviously, yeah, 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 we got you. I am in Shanghai, China. Dr. Li Feng would perform the procedure. Dr. Li Feng. What about Dr. Kim on TikTok? Oh. I thought that was the doctor. They did reply with text, but first they sent me a video. And who's that in the corner? It's the man, right? it's Dr. Li, right? Or Li Feng, right? You know, I'm only going to say allegedly, I'm not going to fully accuse him. But allegedly, this is the guy that did everything. That's doing all those bots. <laughs> I'd be like, I said that. I'm not going to accuse him from doing these <laughs> fantastic jobs. You know? <laughs> it's, it's in the uh, eye of the beholder, right? I mean, in my opinion, these are freaking God. I would, mm, yeah. bleh. But maybe to some other people out there, they're like, hooray, wow, this is the best ever. Cool. Each doctor has different areas of expertise. For facelift, Dr. Lee is the best. And if you're interested in facial contouring procedures, Dr. Kim can perform them. Okay, so yeah, okay. Dr. Lee is the facelift man. And Dr. Kim can do facial contouring procedures, which I guess is, I mean, contouring, you do your makeup's like your shadows, your cheeks and stuff. Maybe it's like, I don't know if that's like shaving jaws and stuff like that or what, oh. you know, or putting in implants or something. Maybe, I guess. Back with more questions. Thank you. Yes. This is a big decision. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me anytime. So they just alluded to the fact that Dr. Kim is a real person along with Dr. Lee Fang. So this is what I was saying at the beginning of the video. I feel like there's one to three real surgeons and uh, everything else is just a TikTok promo. So yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kudos to, to, to Tuv here for, or Tuv for taking the step to just try to contact these people because that's like more than, I would never, I would never. I, 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 <laughs> I don't, I don't, I would, uh, no. I would just look and go, oh, that's crazy, and then move on with my I life. I feel like you know, asked for my like, pictures, I'd have been like, all right, all right, I'm, I'm backing out, man. Oh, you got me. <laughs> I don't actually want this. That's creepy. You're not getting my family's pictures. I personally just find this sad. I don't think you need to look like a fictional character. Um, we've talked about plastic surgery a lot in our own videos, and it's it's always kind of not hurting anyone. You hurt yourself. You go through all that, but all of a sudden you get to the point like the doctors have to like know when enough is enough, yeah. you know? But you, there's always another doctor you can find that'll eventually do the surgeries, and that's why we have all these these crazy videos that we do to react to. Or the, all the, I've spent three hundred thousand dollars like Kim Kardashian, and you look at her and you're just like, okay. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, yeah. But it all like there's there's an addiction to it. It usually stems from like low self esteem over some things, and like just being able to pay to fix it uh, instead of just loving yourself. It's a, it's a very sad industry, in my opinion. I feel like if you're from the States and you're having to travel to Shanghai, it's going to be harder to just, you know, keep going back there to, to, to continue your addiction. So I don't, I, <laughs> it makes it a little harder. Maybe. You know, I don't know. But is it? Is it harder? I don't why know. Is it Maybe so much cheaper? cheaper? Why like, is it so much cheaper? Like, are the procedures? Well, there's 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 a whole like economy crash thing or whatever that that's that's happening in China right now. Like it's mm. hitting the fan over there. Like. That's that's like again. That's a whole another deeper gotcha. thing, like world economy stuff. How it's like it's not 
It's not that good everywhere in the world. It's pretty. It's actually overall overall world economy is kind of in the trash can right now. But everybody's pretending like it's good, <laughs> and especially China is like really, really having a bad time. So yeah, I mean that's the same thing for uh, getting like exports or or imports from China. You know, like people will start businesses and they'll f- they'll fly over and they'll want like shirts or they'll want like something made, yeah. and they'll find someone who can get the molds and make it. And they'll custom make it and ship it out to you, and you just resell it. That, that's that's a lot of American businesses that just do that. Yeah, and uh, it's because it's just so cheap to get things from there. Because that's their whole thing is like exporting so much stuff. Huh. Then then everything's got to be cheaper to come over and get you some surgery too. So do you think this is equivalent to I, I don't know like some of the videos we've done, right? Like the the BBLs, get your BBLs done at the <laughs> <laughs> at the apartment complex or at the hotel. You know, or these legit. Well, I, that's the thing I've been thinking about this whole video is like, you know, oh, well, you pay the extra money for the quality. And I wonder if the quality is even actually that different or if it's just like what their idea of a the surgery is. Like may, they could be like the most skilled surgeons in the whole world, but just their idea of like what is beauty. Oh, right, right. Is the difference, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, that was interesting. Apparently there's an, another video that's got more going on. Maybe the, the people watch this video. I'm not too sure. You can go check that out. And if you guys like this one, Tub isn't mad about us reacting to this video. We'll go to the other one too. But uh, yeah, check them out. Yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, do all that cool stuff. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Stay touch my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.